Hi, I'm Mike with House on the Mend, and in this video we're going to be reviewing the Dovo Laser Level Receiver. So let's get started. House on the Mend. Last year I reviewed the Dovo Laser Level, specifically the K4 model, had a lot of positive things to say about it, and it's been featured in some of our basement build videos recently. This year, Dovo came out with their laser level receiver. Now it works on any green or red laser provided that it has a pulse mode and operates on the 10 kilohertz frequency, which from what I understand is pretty common. Now I'm neither paid nor sponsored by Dovo. They did reach out and send me this receiver for free for my independent review. The receiver comes in a nylon case and has a nice rubberized surface around the perimeter. I was happy to see the holder was included since it's not mentioned in the Amazon listing. The receiver runs on two standard AA batteries which are included and it's made in China. The buttons are weather sealed and very tactile. From the left to the right you have the volume control and mute if you don't want to hear the beeping, on off in the center, and the fine coarse sensitivity selector on the right. By default, when you turn on the receiver, the volume is low and the sensitivity is fine. Both the front and rear LCD screens are backlit. The plastic holder easily clicks and locks on. It's also easily removed. The holder knob operates a metal screw that is smooth and holds very well to my grade stick. While the case is nice, the manual says to remove the batteries from the receiver when not used for prolonged periods of time, but there is no place to store them. I wish Dovo would add a simple battery pocket like the one on my rangefinder pouch. Now a laser level receiver works best when paired with a grade rod like this one that I purchased separately off of Amazon. So let's take it around the house, check on a few measurements to get used to the functionality of it, and then we're going to do a range test since Dovo says this receiver can read a laser signal up to 400 feet away when paired with their H3 model laser level. A code says that your house needs to be a certain height above the crown of your road for good flood control and prevention. So this will be a fun little test. Let's see how we do. Now I have our laser level set to pulse mode, which is what it takes for the receiver to start receiving it. Let's just ensure that we are lined up just right. There we go. Now let's head out to the street and see how we're doing. All right, let's start raising it up here. This won't be the most accurate measurement, right? There we are. What would you say? That's probably a good 18 inches or so, which is right where it should be. Well, we had this concrete pad poured so that I could erect this gazebo. And this is the back of the house. This pad is supposed to slightly grade away from the house. So let's test and see just how much it drops over like 15 feet. So I'm gonna set up my receiver so that we're just getting a tone right there. And then as I come back over here, now it's struggling to get right on the spot. It's going up, down, up, down arrow. So I'm going to put my little level on here to help me out. That's pretty good right there. So we dropped about three quarters of an inch. So at least there's something. Well, it's not the optimal day for recording out here. It's pretty windy and it's really cold, but I have this little wind attenuator on here and we're getting nice sun, which is the best way to test the range on uh, one of these receivers. They specifically asked me to do it on a sunny day so that you know that the max distance we get is really what the capability of this receiver is. Now, 
Right up on top of it are two little magnets, and that's for maybe clicking it up on something metal. You could also turn it horizontally if you're trying to do a, a horizontal laser line. Um, but another thing you can do, which is helpful out here when trying to level the receiver, is to just plop a little torpedo level on it because there's only this tiny little green one on the front. But if I want to get on the back side to try to line things up, it's really helpful for me to have this much bigger level because I've noticed that um, this unit does best when it is uh, perfectly level or close to it. Now, for this purpose of doing the range test, I think it's gonna be easier not to be messing with the height adjustment on the grade rod. So I'm just gonna remove it and we'll go just like this. So let's turn on our Dovo and let's hit pulse mode. That extends our range out as far as we can go. We have our unit turned on with just a single button and and we're ready to go. All right, we are 50 feet away, pretty much the size of a good slab of concrete. And as you can see, we're just getting started with our range test. All right, I have my range finder with me that I use for hunting and archery. And that's why I put the laser against the far back wall so I'd have something for the radar to bounce off of. And we are just over 50 yards, so over 150 feet away. And this is our front gate here that leads out to the road. And as you can see, we are easily picking up that laser, even in this full bright light. And we can't see the line anywhere right here, which is the benefit of having one of these receivers. Now, if you notice, I'm really struggling to get a full locked on center tone. And that's because I'm on the fine setting. So unless you're really trying to be accurate laying out something that has to be picture perfect, I would suggest you press to get the two lines, which is the course feature or the course reading. And that, it's still tough, but there's our full steady tone, meaning we're right on the line. All right, we're gonna have to open the gate and go out to the street and continue on with our range test. Look out, buddy. Here we go. All right, so I am still getting a signal all the way across the street into the field, through the gate to the back fence is where the laser is at my house. Uh, my rangefinder says we are 122 yards away, so that's, what, 366 feet, and I'm still getting a tone. I notice, though, that the receiver has to be perfectly level, or it doesn't seem to pick it up as you get this far out. Well, I think that's enough testing for me to say that I really like this laser level receiver by Dovo. I really like the rubberized grip around it on a cold day like this. It was great whether I had bare hands or uh, gloves on. I like the fact that it's got an LCD screen on the front and the back. The buttons are really simple, just three. Not a lot of technical stuff, a lot of settings, a lot of this and that, just three tactile buttons, boom, 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 and you're off and running. Uh, I did find it really, really hard to get it to lock onto a tone. Um, I think that it's partially very sensitive and then also it, it really wants to be level. So I didn't think it would be that hard to maintain a tone, but I was able to get there every time I tried it. So if you found this video helpful, will you please give it a thumbs up? It's really helpful to the channel. Also, please consider subscribing. I'm working really hard to put out good quality tool reviews and other content. There's a lot more videos to come. I'd like to thank Dovo for sending me this receiver without any preconceived notions of what I was going to say or a timeline. They gave me plenty of time to review it, to see the good and the bad. Um, they also didn't ask for any input on what I was going to say. 
Uh, I've had several companies reach out and want to see the finished video before I post it. I refuse all those uh, offers. So I think it takes a lot of courage for Dovo to just send it to me, let me review it. I'm going to leave a link to this receiver, to the laser level, as well as this grade rod and some of the other things like the laser rangefinder that I use in this video. Full disclosure, those will be Amazon affiliate links. So if you click on them and end up making a purchase, it won't cost you a thing, but I do get a small reward at the end of the month. Until next time, thank you for watching.